If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and share it, all right? Uh, to be with us from Atlanta, Georgia. She's a noted uh, watch, uh, journalist, blogger, uh, what else? A devoted uh, mother, I know that. Oh, thanks, yeah, podcaster. Podcaster. Yeah, thanks and for whatever. having me. Thanks to you and Linda for, for well, bringing me out here. This is super excited. Okay. And Instagram, yeah. So if you guys are on Instagram, and you better be, uh, follow at what's on her wrist. That's a little shameless plug for me right now. Okay, so. you deserve it. Thanks. Okay, so I'm going to turn the mic over to Barbara, and I'm going to try to uh, get the live stream going, and uh, our remote guests can uh, follow along as well. And uh, good luck to contestant, contestants. We have three watches for first, second, and third prize. The pick goes to the uh, winner first, then the second uh, prize winner picks, and then the third goes to the uh, third place. So take it over, Barbara. Let's All right. go. What's up, everybody? Thanks for coming out. Oh, God, this is so fun. I, I should practice my yodeling while I have this microphone. OK, who? just show of hands. Who's in this watch wardrobing competition? Awesome. Okay, listen up. If you're not in it, you're a total loser. You should not be here. No, I'm just totally joking. But definitely, come on, you can get a free watch or another free watch. If you're, if you're a couple, you could be first and second. You never know. How we're going to do it, I'm going to call your name, and I'm going to give you a number. Okay, so uh, let's say the first one, which is Linda Lou, she's going to be number one. The judges are going to judge you pretty much based on your number and your information. You're going to come on up with me. Uh, you're going to talk about what watch you're wearing. You're going to mention what you do, like a little one-minute spiel. One-minute spiel. Okay, one minute, guys. There is a, there's a timer back there, so there's a one-minute spiel. Talking about your wardrobe, why you wore it, how it matches your wardrobe. Uh, and then we're going to kick you off the stage, and we're going to bring up the next person. So that's how it's going to go. Again, three prizes. First place gets first pick of the three watches, and, and Steve will go into talking about that a little bit later. So let's get this show on the road. Linda Lou! Linda Lou! Come on up, Linda Lou! Where's Linda Lou? She didn't go get oysters, did she? There she comes. All right. I just met Linda Lou. And you're going to get on this side of me, darling. Okay. How you doing? How are you? I'm Lin Hi, I'm fine. I'm sorry, did I? I'm aggressive. I'm so sorry. Should I stand back here? I was like, no, ah. I, I, it was the microphone that surprised me. Okay. No, I'm. Oh, I'm, let's do. A we're gonna do a photo. Okay. Oh, you can't see my watch. We should probably show our watches. Yeah, right. Here yeah. we go. Look. Say cheesy. Okay. Okay. Linda Lou, you're here for the competition. Let's talk about your Correct. watch that you're wearing. Correct. Well, I'm, I'm wearing a uh, Grand Seiko luxury quartz watch from 1973. What? That's year I was born. Oh my God, I'm not <laughs> judging. Thank God I'm not judging. She would have won. That's my birth year. Okay, go ahead. 1973, that's 1973. awesome. 1973. So my outfit is expi inspired by the uh, late 60s, early 70s bohemian hippie looks. Um, and I have, the reason I think it's interesting, Grand Seiko is known for their special dials. And Tyler, are you listening to this? Tyler, we're giving Grand Seiko a plug here, buddy. Are you listening? All right. I mean, Grand Seiko is known for their special dials, like the spring, new spring season dial. And I think these, these uh, vintage 1970s, 1973, 74 luxury quartz watches, I think the dials are made using the same techniques. They, they carve the metal and they coat it with special coatings that give it different colors sometimes reflecting different colors. And I think it's sort of cool that Seiko used these, developed these techniques when they were launching quartz watches as luxury items. And now um, in, our, in our century, they're bringing back these techniques as they're establishing Grand Seiko as a, a premier luxury brand. Pretty much its own entity at this point. Well, thank you so much. I love that you did the boho, sort of a throwback to the 70s, and thank I will you. never forget you because my you brought my... my 1960s poison ring. Oh, well, <laughs> keep away from Steve. He does not need to be poisoned. Okay. okay. No, All right, no, thank, thank you so much. And we're going to bring up... So, thanks, everybody. Give Linda a round of applause. She was all about Grand Seiko. We actually have several Grand Seikos on here. All right, Stefan. Stefan. That was my favorite SNL character, by the way. Really? Stefan, yes. Oh, gosh. Don't there are any SNL fans you know what I'm talking about? No. no Do you get too, that? Do you get that all the time? I actually don't, but I always was fearful that I would get that. Oh, God, I mean, I'm glad you don't. But you don't I, look I, like I, I never got That's why. Yeah, okay, that's, why. that's what it is. You look like you'd kick somebody's butt if they called you Stefan from SNL. 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. I love that. Picture. Picture. Oh, picture. Picture. Right. All right, sir. Come on, talk. What yes, you got? Yes. Oh, you're you're double fisted. Let's go. I'm double fisted. Um, I couldn't help it, but, but I had to wear two today because as I was looking at my collection and trying to decide what should I wear today, uh, I felt I felt as if I wanted to t talk about what it means to collect watches. So I'll talk about this first. And it, this watch represents where I was as a watch collector, but still appreciate. This is a Bremont, very rare Bremont, the BCS2 in green. Wow. Uh, this this came, out, came out, and I bought this when they first hit the market here in the United States a while ago, and I still love this watch. I, I have about 10 Bremonts, and I love this. I still love this. At the time when Bremont came out, I felt that their watches were made for me. Uh, the work that I was doing, like many of you here, I was in a defense establishment, and this watch really meant a lot to me, for those of you who know Bremont. But then, as I progress with my collecting and just begin to open up to even more things, I end up, through many steps, to Grand Seiko. So what I'm wearing, this is the latest watch that I, that I got, and which I got here from Little Treasury, and this is the Lion's Paw Chronograph Titanium, uh, badass, giant, wonderful watch. And this is, this is so this is what <laughs> I wear That's actually part now. of its description, honestly, that, that, if you look it up online. That is part of it. And the other thing that's interesting is I went from straps and now I prefer bracelets. So, so the point is, is that you can, you can, it, it, you really grow when you're collecting watches and, and, and as much as they become part of you and as an expression of you, you can, you can still look back on where you were and where you're going and that's one of the powerful things about watches. That's why I had to bring these both today. All right. Give it up for Stefan. Woo! I love that Bremont. That's awesome. Tyler, another plug for, for Grand Seiko, buddy. All right, your number two, Stefan, just to let you know, remind you about that. Number three, Leon Eckel. We don't have any, is, that, is Leon Eckel here? Because he's on the list. Is that you? Buddy, you didn't sign in. That's 30 lashes. You know that, right? Oh, all right. Leon. Photo. Okay. Leon, we're going to get yelled at. Oh. Okay. Oh. Got it. I love and you have a shovel. Yes. Oh my God, that's awesome. Okay, Leon, talk about your watch. Well, this one was given to a, a landed family in Germany, gave this to their famous forester in the 1880s. It has an inscription on the back, which is a thank you to their family. Wow. The family. It's, uh, so I wore this stuff because uh, it is from 1886. Longines verified it. Uh, so it is a Longines? It is a Longines, yes. Uh, and it's telling that they, this family lived just a little bit from the heart of the watchmaking area in Germany and they offered to buy this particular one from uh, Longines. It was imported in because it's got the crown and the, uh, the, the moon there for that, for silver. And I'm wearing this because I guess this is what... Yeah, that's what, a, that's what a forester would wear, don't yeah. you think? And, and, you, and the shovel. The shovel. Too. Excellent. That's, that's pretty incredible. Can I take a look at that a little bit later? I'd love to get a picture of that. Yeah, we're not going to do it now because okay. we have a time. So there's, there's a timer. So. But awesome. Everybody, come on. Get, Leon looks great. Leon, you're looking great, buddy. I love that. He got into it. That's some wardrobing. I, I dig that. All right, you're number three, Leon. Don't forget that. Judges, Leon is number three. Leon the... Forrester. Number four, Willie Beverly. Are you here, Willie Beverly? Willie Beverly? Bueller? Willie Beverly. All right, Willie may not be here. As soon as you lose, Willie. Got no, no watch for Willie today. Number five, Darian Moya. Come on, Darian. I think we have another. Uh, where's Darian? We may have another Grand Seiko in our midst. Is that you? I can tell you're walking with a purpose. Look at you. This is awesome. I love it. How you doing, man? I'm doing great. All right. What you wearing? Let's talk about it. So uh, today I'm wearing a uh, Grand Seiko. Photo, photo. Oh, photo. Can we do a photo at the end? I feel like I get into it, and then you're like, photo, and then I want to die. <laughs> well, maybe. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. All right, if you want to be consistent. I'm feisty. So today I'm wearing a uh, Grand Seiko SBN 007. It's a uh, limited edition. Uh, when I came to the uh, contest, I wasn't quite sure what my approach was going to be, so I just got the latest piece I got at the store. Uh, this one's uh, one of the ones that I'm really proud of, and it's one of my, uh, uh, one that I think is beautiful. Uh, um, the reason I uh, decided to choose this piece is because uh, I think Grand Seiko does an incredible job on uh, using nature 
and the environment and using some of the cultural heritage to uh, in incorporate into their timepieces. So how that relates to the outfit is that I decided to wear a traditional Cuban guayabera, uh, which uh, in essence uh, kind of well, uses the same kind of concept, which is uh, getting something that is sort of formal or it could be casual, you can use it at any type of occasion and you still feel comfortable with it without going too flashy. So uh, that is part of the, the reason why I, why I decided to choose the, the Grand Seiko and match it with this outfit. That was really beautiful. I, honestly, wasn't that lovely? And oh my God, I got a little misty. Always comes with a cigar, because you gotta have one. Oh, because you're a good Cubano. Oh, I love that. Thank you, Darren, you're number five, sir. Judges, remember Darren, number five. I love that. I was, that was, who else got a little teary-eyed? I did, I definitely did. Chris. Siebens or Sibens, I'm sorry if I if I have mispronounced your name, sir. Number six, lucky number six. Let's pose for a photo. Pose which photo? All right, that's it. <laughs> that was the joke. <laughs> All right, Chris. Chris, are you wearing are you wearing a Grand Seiko? Nobody's wearing a Grand. Oh, come on, let's talk about it. Yeah, so I came in today wearing the SVGA 211, which is this one. It's awkwardly on my right hand. And then I picked up a new one today, the SPGA 387. It's the limited edition US one that came out a few months ago. Mm. And I got the one that came into this shop. The, the one, one of one. I finally picked it up. Yeah, yeah the it's dial. the blue dial. Uh, yeah. 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 So I had the white snowflake and then the blue colored nice. snow. It's good. Yeah. Everybody here like, can ask Chris to see his watch because you really want to see it if you haven't yeah. seen it. So I guess the, the one thing I'll add, so I just came back from living in Japan. Uh, for a couple of years, and I wanted something to remind me of, of the experience. And I love the spring dry movement. And so these days at work, I actually take some time out at my desk where I literally just stare at my watch. And I watch, I guess on this snowflake, there's the blue secondhand dial. It's like buttery smooth. And it really just puts me at, at peace, you know, for a few minutes at least. Um, and I go on with my day. So that's kind of the special snowflake moment I have every day. Are you a millennial? <laughs> Yeah. Well, because people say millennials aren't productive, and then now we know why, because they wear cool watches. <laughs> I'm at the tail end. Yeah. Give Chris a round of applause, everybody. Woo! Thank you, Chris. Double fisting. Photo. I thought there was no photo. All right. Excellent job. Thanks, man. All right. You're number six, Chris. Don't forget, Paul Alexander is number seven. Is Paul Alexander in the house? Paul. Paul did not sign in. Paul will not be getting a watch today. Okay, number eight. Chad and Rebecca. Chad Timonen. Rebecca Towson. Oh, we've got, look at the, they just got married, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks very much. They came straight from their wedding for this competition. Look, oh my, and they're gonna be, all right, do we wanna do a photo now? It's because they're here. Watch is up. Watch is up. Nice. One more. That's awesome. Chad, I'm actually going to get you to come on this side. It's just going to be easier to, to talk to both of you guys at this point. So, all right, let's talk about the wardrobe. Let's talk about the outfits. Let's talk about the watches. Go. So the watch is, mine is a Towson Mission Moon chronograph, which can be viewed here at Little Treasury. And if you haven't looked at these, seriously, look at them. They're amazing. And then, hmm? Omega. No, Towson. Towson? Towson Watch Company. Okay. That doesn't count against my time, right? No, 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 um, you got it. We're and good. then Rebecca's watch is a Frederick Constant that we also got here at Little Treasury, which, even though you're not supposed to wear a watch with formal attire, we both did on the day we were wed. Quick funny story, this was actually a groom's gift from my beloved that I wasn't supposed to wear until the day of her wedding <clears throat> until I reminded her that she gets to wear an engagement ring, so if I can't wear the watch, <laughs> she can't wear the ring. Well done. <laughs> it worked. Very nice. The sentiment on her behalf was lovely. Um, would you like to say anything? No. So, oh, really? So, <laughs> Rebecca, let me tell you something, honey. Mm -hmm. yeah. Put out your Frederic Constant, because I also own a Frederic Constant. Nice. Yes, I do. And that is mine. So, um, yeah. And it's it's relatively the same model. It is. And whoever says you can't wear watches with formal attire, they yeah. are they are not very smart. Yeah, we we would not, like, they are not allowed to win a watch they today. But you guys watches. are. Yeah. <laughs> so, I love that you do the wedding thing. Excellent. That's also, awesome. you guys are number eight. Great job. Thanks uh, for sharing your story. Yeah. To the gentleman in the back who keeps asking me to get his car, I am not the valet. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny, Chad. That was awesome, Chad. Chad and Rebecca, everybody. 
Jeff Schildenfly. Oh, did I get that even vaguely close? You got it. Yes. Very All good. right, Very Jeff. Good. Come on, let's take a picture, you and me, buddy. Excellent job. Jeff, let's talk about what you're wearing. What, right, whatever so, it is, I love it. So I was trying to uh, figure out what to wear this year. Two years ago, I was the orange fox for those who were here. Um, this year, I looked at my collection of divers, but I'm not really a diver. I've got driver watches for the edge of the wrist, but I'm not a sports car enthusiast. I said this year I was going to go with honesty. And honesty means coming to grips with the fact that I'm quirky. So I'm quirky. And I think I'm witty and um, in some ways asymmetrical. So what, what started this is I came to uh, Little Treasury a few years ago to get a Grand Seiko's. I love Grand Seiko's spring drives. But Steve, of course, has an eye for the more obscure and interesting. And he showed me Shara Coffins and Eddie wow, watches, which yeah. I quickly dismissed. And then a year later, I looked in his display and saw an unbelievable candy avant-garde Sharikov, and I said, wow, that's the best. And then unfortunately, I looked it up and found what's called the Miss Avant-Garde, which was the first of the avant-gardes. And being a collector and knowing this was made of unobtainium and could not be found, and it couldn't, I spent six months scouring the internet to finally get this bad girl. It's made for women. But what I found is there are no genitalia, so by changing Woo! the strap, it becomes masculine in this day and age of gender bending. And I even sent them a letter to that effect, and they congratulated me with a laugh out loud and congratulated me on my Mr. Avant-Garde. So uh, this is the Avant-Garde. It's uh, asymmetrical for those who haven't seen it. It's very witty. If you look closely at the dial, it's got a lot of little fun uh, things. Um, on the Sharikovs, he likes to put 60 where the 12 should be, only in this case it's askew with Very an arrow nice. pointing to where it should be. And of course I've got my 60. This shirt was a $5 brand new purchase at a used clothing store. <laughs> I couldn't find anything more weird than this and probably need a picture of the pocket there's on a, the back. There's, a, the there's a pocket on the back of the shirt. And uh, so we're going for quirkiness and asymmetry, and I defy anyone in this room to say I'm not quirky. Oh, so, man, Jeff, let me tell you something. Your what? number is nine. That's an odd number, buddy, and I think you are too. So you okay. did a great job today. Give it up for Jeff. Jeff looked great in that Shurikov watch. Awesome. Number 10, Craig Wheeler. Greg, Greg, I'm going to get louder if you guys get louder. I'm just going to tell you, and I'm from Philly. I can get pretty loud. So, yep, Greg, Greg, are you here? Is that you walking up? Greg, Greg, you are, look at you, it's so cute. Oh, man. What is this? Greg, tell us about what your wardrobe is, man. So, my, my love of timepieces really uh, came from my grandfather. Uh, he used to collect clocks. And I loved, any time I walked into his house, you just immediately just hear this ticking coming from every corner of the house. And I loved it. Um, my grandfather worked as a milkman. Uh, he worked for Pet Dairy for about 40 years, uh, getting up every morning, leaving a fresh quart of milk by people's front doors. Um, and this, this was his shirt. This is what he wore to work every day. And this was his watch. It's um, a uh, Royal Geneva brand watch. It was made by the Acro Watch Company. Um, I've tried to do some research. The best I can tell it was made sometime late 50s, early 60s. Um, so when he passed away a few years ago, I inherited this watch. And I loved it. I loved the smaller case size. I loved the style. The only problem was that it wasn't working. So I decided to take matters into my own hands. And any of the watchmakers here are probably going to cringe at this. But I sat down at my kitchen table one night and started taking it apart. And I actually uh, was able to... I'm not a watchmaker and I cringe. I've got to be honest with you. <laughs> it probably hadn't been cleaned since it left the factory. But I was able to clean some of the gears, oil a few pivot points, and miraculously was able to put it back together. And sure enough, it started ticking right away. Uh, this watch is probably 60 years old and it still keeps perfect time for me. So, Excellent job. That, that's, a, that's a really sweet story. I love that, Greg. Thank you so much. That's awesome. And listen, uh, Steve, if you need a watchmaker, clearly uh, <laughs> Greg's looking for a job because there are no milkmans anymore. So thank you. You are number 10. We're going to take a picture. Thanks, Greg. Thank you. All right, numero once, number 11, Jason Ludlow. Jason Ludlow, get up here, Jason Ludlow. Arr. 
sir. How you doing? All right, right Jason, what's, what's going on? What's up with your wardrobe and your watch? I am wearing a 1970 Seiko Navigator Timer. My father got this in Vietnam. Uh, he was on leave, went to Hong Kong. He does not talk about his time in Vietnam much, but he talks about his shopping experiences a whole lot, and he was really excited to get this. Uh, he also picked up a 6119 Blue Seiko 5 for my grandfather, who wore that till the day he died. Uh, my father kept this in a drawer. All the loom pips and everything are in perfect condition. Wow. And he, it's got the original bracelet. Uh, he gave it to me this past year, finally. He finally trusted it with me once he saw that I had a collection of 70 time pieces. And um, I put it on my wrist, and it was, it was perfectly fit. I didn't have to touch a micro adjustment or everything. So. But what I'm wearing today is this is what I would wear on my usual weekend and match my watch to it. Uh, the blue on the bezel matches the blue of my jeans and my shirt. The black on the dial matches my black shoe. The stainless steel bracelet and case matches my glasses, my long jeans hat, my long jeans pen. This is, I'm, I'm a walking billboard if anybody wants to throw me some royalties or anything this way. So, yeah, this is they might the, give you another pen. That's it, pretty much it. This is the one that I'll never get rid of because my father gave it to me and it meant a lot to him. So That's a beautiful story, Thank man. Thank you so much for sharing that. Jason, number 11, let's get a picture. Picture? Did, you, did we do a picture? <laughs> Thank you so much. Excellent. Okay, number 12, William Epperson. <laughs> William, 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 William signed in. William Epperson, William Epperson. Is he having oysters and beer? William, all right, we may have to come back to William. There's no William here. 13, lucky 13, Matthew Marcus. There you go, Matt. Matthew. Yeah, look at that hat. I love that. That's, let's do this. What's up, Matthew? Talk to us. Hi, uh, so my uh, costume and uh, my watches are based upon my uh, trip to Japan that I took back in August. I had wanted to go to Japan for many, many years uh, since I was a little kid, and my costume mostly reflects that. Um, I am wearing uh, on my left wrist a Seiko World Time, the 6117 6400, uh, which I believe you know, represents travel, going to Japan, whatnot. And I also have on my other wrist a Grand Seiko 5641 7005, which I bought on that trip. Wow. So. Um, so I've got, I've got Yen, I've got my passport, my rail pass, uh, a couple of video game accoutrements from Japan. Okay. Uh, Tell me about the Get Smoke really quick. I don't, I don't play video games. What is it? It's from a video game called Persona 5. A uh, character okay. wears it, and uh, I like that game a lot, so I bought the hat and I wore it on the trip. Nice. Um, also, I'm wearing a vintage, uh, I believe it's vintage 50s silk juban, which is wow. the jacket that um, men would wear over the, their yukata, which I also bought on that trip. Uh, That's awesome. As well as the umbrella I used as a parasol and my backpack and my camera, which still has the photos on it. That's some, that's some good wardrobe, man. That's awesome. Get up for Matthew, everybody. Thank you, Matthew. 13, let's take a picture. Absolutely, I'm going to get a picture. Seiko and Grand Seiko are kind of neck and neck right now. That's awesome. All right, 14, Liz. I love seeing this. I love seeing that there are women here. Liz Panarelli. Liz, Liz Panarelli. Come on up here, Liz. Thank you. How you doing? Do you want to get a picture now? Get a picture now? All right. Where's your watch? You got a watch? Oh, oh got to do the watch, Liz. <laughs> Excellent. Let's talk about this. What you got? I have for you today a Meister Singer Salthora jumping hour regulator. And first, I want to say thanks to Steve and Linda and the whole crew. I love you guys. Um, I think it was Chris who made me take a chance on this watch, and that's why I'm bringing it to you today with this, because I, I think what I'm wearing kind of represents this watch. I wasn't sure if I could handle a watch that didn't have a second hand. Seriously, honestly, this is my only watch that doesn't have a second hand. But I wanted to tell you it's big enough that you can kind of see the uh, minute hand move and it does have the jumping hour so I'm not completely lost like I normally would be. You know, as a type A, you know, this would have been not my first thought that I would fall in love with this watch, but I have. I love that it has a slight curve and a, a chunky uh, crystal on it. 
it's rounded and then it comes down at like kind of a bowl and the numbers are kind of slanted just like this weird ass hat my mom made for me and you know it's just beautiful it's kind of like dressy yet kind of sporty I love it. That's all, that's all. I actually I'm a huge fan of Meister Singer. Are you very? Good. I am. I had I yeah. had one of their watches, and you know it was the same thing for me. Like, oh, one hand. How do I do that? But you wear it a short period of time. You get really used to it. I like it. I do it. want to say one. I do want to say one last thing. One of the things that brought me here was an ability to interface with Chrono Swiss. I'm so glad they're back under new ownership. That's awesome. And cranking out some beautiful designs. You should check them out. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much, Liz. Liz is number 14. Judges. All right, number 15, we're nearing the end, guys. Richard James, where are you, Richard James? Richard James, Richard James. Right, Richard Richard has a beautiful leather company here, so so he's in this competition too. So come and, come by and check him out. Richard, what you wearing? Um, today I'm wearing my um, Omega Dynamic. Um, so Cause I, you're dynamic? Uh, that, I, you know, I've never heard that one before, but I might have to use it. Um, so I got this actually right when I finished up at NYU. And it came with a yellow strap, and I decided to kind of take a chance on it. Now, it's no surprise that since I am a leather craftsman, I had to go find, you know, alligator, yellow alligator. Oh, to yeah. Oh, did you hear now, that crowd? So, <laughs> gentlemen, don't be, don't be afraid, right? Whatever color you go with, we can accessorize it. No, it wouldn't be complete if I didn't show. Woo! That's some right. wardrobe in Richard. With, 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 with the yellow lamy to go with it. So <laughs> I'm, I'm all yellowed out today. So That's awesome, man. Thank you so much. Thanks for being in the competition. Show the socks. Yeah, show the socks. There you go. There you go. Thanks, Richard. Richard, you're number 15. Judges, Richard is number 15. 16, which, by the way, is my favorite number. I'm it. Where are you? Amit, Amit, you're talking. Hello. I only know, I like to call you Amit the Oyster Guy. You, thank you, thank yes. you. Yes, how are you, man? Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Um, yeah, you can take it, go, right. go well, for it. Go. My arm is hurting anyway. Oh, thank you. I signed up for the event five minutes before. Huh? I, signed I signed up for the, the event five, five minutes before closing, closing so, so I really didn't have a pitch, but uh, then I saw my watch and I was like, you know, I gotta come up with something over here. First of all, before we start this, I wanted to thank everyone over here, the sponsors, and Steve particularly. I, uh, I was here for a couple hours yesterday. I drove from Wallops Island, made an acquisition of a company. We've got a couple hundred people that do rocket technology down there. And I drove straight over here, and one of the things that I was telling Steve when I walked in here is, hey, do you know the difference between a businessman and an industrialist? And kudos to Steve, he's done a wonderful job in terms of creating such an event over here in Northern Virginia and uh, Southern Maryland area. He truly is an industrialist, he's a fantastic businessman, but on top of that, great work in terms of reviving the industry, so thank you again. With that, um, what am I wearing today? I'm wearing a Meister Singer. Oh, we got two for Meister yeah, Singer. There you, go. there you go. So you guys already heard, it's a single hand watch, but let me put a different twist to the story. I was talking to Lou over there um, from the Meister Singer rap, and uh, I was telling him why I actually made this acquisition. I made this acquisition, and Lou, don't get me wrong, I know you're six weeks on the job, and this is right there. I made this acquisition because the watch has a couple useless features that, that normally people would think about, but for me they're the greatest features. The single hand, the single hand kind of reminds me about the various moments a watch has in terms of the increments that it goes forward. It's about 144 increments in this watch. Traditionally a three hand watch has about 80,000 plus increments. So it just reminds me to kind of take a pause, smell the roses, you know, rather than thinking about the destination, and, and make, make each moment count. So that's what this watch represents. And your wardrobe, you uh, My, with the yes, coloring. Yeah. Yes, so this wardrobe, what I'm wearing today, is how I dress up every day. Nine times out of ten, this is how I go to work. Uh, so I decided that I just wanted to be myself and uh, tell you a little bit about, you know, the watch. and. I, and although this is a very precise watch, in terms of accuracy, it's five minutes off. And it's okay to be a couple minutes late. It's okay to be a couple minutes early. It's just uh, you know, have a smile and enjoy life. That's Thank awesome. You. Thank you, Ahmed. Thank you, man. That was great. Really lovely. Number six. Ahmed! Ahmed! 
we gotta take a picture. Oh, I apologize. Picture it's the we most got. important thing. Yes, there exactly. We go. uh, we're gonna give about 10 minutes to our judges to uh, ponder this very difficult decision. Uh, this is beautiful. This Flieger watch automatic. Uh, it's distributed by Mueller Glassuta, for which is a Zodiac Super Seawolf uh, diver. Uh, I'm being directed like crazy over there. Okay. Would you like to okay. okay, anything else? Okay, <laughs> His phone just went off, by the way. <laughs> okay, and uh, the final is a, a full metal uh, G-Shock uh, watch, uh, which is the third prize. Now, the way it's going to work is uh, we'll announce first, second, and third prize winners, and uh, the first prize winner gets the pick, second prize winner gets the next pick, and the third, obviously, gets the uh, super team. Uh, okay. So, uh, with that, I'm going to let uh, Barbara uh, make the announcement well, of the did winners. Did you want to... Uh... Us later. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Thanks again, everybody, for coming out. Uh, thanks to my photographer. He's he's done a heck of a job. Really, really, really good job. Um, yeah. All right. Give it up. Come on, picture Nazi. Yes. No soup for you. Okay. All right. Third prize. What I'm going to have you do is, you guys, when I announce your name. Come on up and stand here real quick, and then w after we announce the first prize winner, because they're going to get to pick which watch they want. So, I'm sorry? We're st no, we're starting at third. No, first is going to pick. Who's running the show? All right, third prize. Don't listen to Cameron. Third prize. I'm going to call your name. You come up, okay? Second, come on up. First prize, come on up. Then first prize, you get to pick first. That's how it's going to go. You got it? Thanks. All right, third prize. Leon Echo, come on up here, Leon. Leon the Forester with his beautiful Longines pocket watch. Come on over here, buddy. You did a great job. Thank you so much. Thanks for, thanks for being here. Thanks for being a watch lover. I love that. Got to keep this stuff going. Second prize, Chad and Rebecca. Woo! Chad and Rebecca! Frederick Constant and Chad, which one are you were? You were in the Towson, right? Towson. Yeah, that's right. How did I remember that? I didn't remember that. Actually, it says it right here. I'm not going to lie. All right, first prize, drum roll. Any drummers in the house? I am. There you go. Thank you, people. You're so good. Uh, first prize, do we even have? No, I'm not kidding. Greg Wheeler. First prize, Milkman. Oh my God, you know what's funny? I have redheaded kids and everybody always thinks it's because of the Milkman. All right, Greg, come on over and pick your watch, buddy. Which one do you want you get to pick? Go for it. What are you picking? Tell us. I gotta go with the Zodiac Sea Wolf. Woo! Zodiac on first big Zodiac! That's awesome, Greg picks the Zodiac, come on. All right, you two, go for it. What do you go, that's a tough choice, let me tell you. What are you going for? Mule. Mule! I want to thank you for picking Zodiac. <laughs> All right. Guess you get in the G-Shock. Can I tell you something? That would be my first pick. So lucky you. Good job, Leon. Do you want to say anything? A couple words? Anything? Yeah, this is, I think, 7,003 watches that I have in my car. Woo! Hey, Thanks the, so much. That's the negative display, too, right? Yes. Awesome. Okay. And the judges, uh, so we're going to add Numero nine. Oh, I got that last time. The, oh, did you? Did you get the, the almost sundial? Yeah, I haven't seen it. I want to see it. Is yeah. what is it? It's, it's, it looks like a ring, but you, you can turn the rings and hold up the sun and I can tell you what time Oh, my God. That's cool. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Woo! All right. Thank you, everybody. I do, seriously, I love that one. I like G-Shop. Oh, cool. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Oh, cool.
I can't believe you're still watching. If you made it to the end of this video, we know it's a long video, okay? If you made it to the end and you liked it, make sure you like, comment, and share it. Uh, again, I'm Barbara Palumbo. I am a writer. You can check me out on Instagram at what's on her wrist. Thank you so much. If you enjoy local content like this, please like, comment, and share this video. If you own a local business, please join us.